spring. I love the first tulips of spring. Planted in the chill of autumn, they rest and resist through long freezing winters, even on the snow. And then they burst forth, affirming rebirth and hope. Once the exclusive domain of the wealthy, the tulip is now the reigning queen of spring flowers and gardens throughout the world. And nowhere are spring bulbs grown in greater profusion than in the gardens of the Kirkenhof in Holland. Massive beds of tulips, narcissi and hyacinth are displayed in a park-like setting, surrounded by undulating pools and waterways under a canopy of ancient beech trees. Under the care of the Royal Association of Bulb Growers since 1949, the spring parade of color from the end of March through mid-May draws thousands of admirers each year. The Kirkenhof celebrates the full season of tulips in spring, early, mid and late season blooms. In 1654, the first horticultural monograph ever published stated, as the diamond dominates other stones, as the sun dominates the stars, so does the tulip dominate all other spring flowers. Tulips are exquisitely simple flowers. They bring a sense of innocence to a garden. Their gay, clear colors are full of cheer and they have a way of making even a formal garden friendly. Some of the rarest are here at the Kirkenhof. Parrot tulips always amuse me because they look like just that, parrot. And the enduringly popular cottage tulips it's a true survivor. It was named for the cottage gardeners to whom it became available after the wealthy abandoned it. And these are just a few of the delightful possibilities. But today, 